Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Kurt Russman. What I want to talk about today are three basic strokes that we can use when we play drums. I use all three all the time. I think most drummers use all three. The first one is called the legato stroke or free stroke, some people call it. The second one is the down stroke and the third one is the up stroke. Now, when we're talking about playing these, the free stroke, the legato stroke, however you want to call it, as I see it, its point is you start up, you let the stick do all the work, and it should bounce right back to its starting position. So if I'm starting up here, the stick should bounce back up on its own, okay? If you notice, my hand is making one move down. It's not coming up. It's letting the stick bounce on its own. Now, of course, you need to be able to do this with both hands, right and left. Okay? The second stroke we're, I want to talk about is the down stroke. And that's where you start up. And when you come down, your fingers act like a shock absorber and it'll hit the pad and it'll want to bounce back up, but your fingers are going to catch it before it does. So it goes like this. Now, notice I'm not letting it bounce. I'm really controlling it. I'm not putting it on the head. I'm not crushing it into the head. Okay, that's not what you want to do. You just want it to bounce back up, but let your fingers act as a shock absorber. Also, left-handed. Okay, now when I do that, I'm not white knuckling the stick. Okay, I'm not like grabbing real hard so it doesn't come back up. It's just around the stick. I'm just not letting it bounce any farther. Okay. There's no, no pain here, and I'm not stressing my fingers out at all. It's very simple. Okay? Now, the third is called the upstroke, and that's when you start low from the position we were just in, and then you bring the stick back up. Same thing left-handed. Okay, those three strokes and in my teaching career of, of high school and middle school and playing and private teaching and whatnot, those three strokes are what pretty much make everybody's playing. Okay, now when you're actually playing, you're not thinking of that. You're not sitting there going, oh, I want to do all the gutter strokes or oh, this is all going to be down strokes or up strokes. No, they're there so that it's part of you so that you can use them when you need to, depending on what the music is calling for, okay? Now I wanna give you an exercise to work on. And each one of these exercises works eight on one hand and then eight on the other. So we're gonna start with just the legato strokes, free strokes, whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna do eight in a hand that has to evenly bounce back up, then switch to the left, eight. And I do that twice in a row, so here we go. Let's start up and no, when you're usually playing in a professional situation, you don't keep the sticks up here like this, okay? <laughs> you might if you were like in a show or something, but uh, uh, this is merely to get this technique down. Okay, so here we go. Let's start at the top, eight on each side twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Piece of cake, right? Now notice, I'm letting the stick bounce back up. I'm not bringing it up. The stick is... The stick is functioning all by itself. The pad and the stick. I'm giving a downstroke. Mm, the downstroke is a very specific thing. I'm making the stick go down and then it's popping back up. Next part of this exercise, again, eight on one side, eight on the other, we're going to go back and forth between the down stroke and the up stroke. So we're gonna start up, the goal is 90 degrees, 
zero or whatever that might be. So 90 degrees, zero. Now, sometimes I go back farther or whatnot. But the goal is get the stick, let it bounce back up, or pull it back up, excuse me, and then bring it down. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. That's the second part. Then, once you're comfortable with that, we want to put it together. Eight legato strokes, right, left, right, left. Eight down and up strokes, right, left, right, left. Okay, so it comes off like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Now, mind you, it's just an exercise to get you comfortable doing all three of them together. You want to make that exercise, I, would, I always tell my students, you should practice at least five days a week, okay, five different days. You need a repetition. It, you need to do it and then do it again and then do it again and then do it again, day, 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 okay? Um, I don't practice seven days a week. I, I actually think you need a break in there. I think it's like weightlifting, okay? Okay. Um, Weightlifters will tell you, you know, work your legs, do a whole lot of leg exercise on Monday, but don't do it Tuesday because you need some relaxation. You need them to rest and rebuild. I kind of see that way. Um, I kind of see that's the way of playing also. So I would say try to get five days a weekend. And this exercise, you know, do it for a minute. If you want to go longer, go longer. If you're having fun with it, I understand. But you should do it at least 30 seconds to a minute, okay? Five days a week and keep doing it. I still do it, I've been doing it for decades, okay? Decades, just, I always come back to it, it's a great warm up, 30 seconds just to get your hands moving, you know, get the blood flowing. You can concentrate on these three easy strokes. All right, folks, I hope that was helpful to you. Remember, the legato stroke, the down stroke, and the up stroke, we use them all the time in playing. We use them on the pad. We use them on snare drum exercises and solos. We use them on drum set all the time. Um, it's three of the of the of the biggest things you could possibly learn, as far as in my opinion, I believe that deep down. So thanks for coming by. If this is your first time, I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon so you know more are coming. I have a whole log of new topics that are that are about to film for you. So hopefully those get out once a week. That's my goal. And yeah, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.